Antarctica shock because the icy continent is turning green. This is what scientists are revealing in the bombshell discovery have to do with climate change. This is what is turning Antarctica green. As experts state, it could be the beginning of a new ecosystem in this area. British researchers from the University of Cambridge for the first time mapped the bloom of microscopic algae across the icy continent because of climate change. And as the planet warms, the icy Antarctica is slowly melting, creating slushy environments, which is perfect, which are perfect uh, for the environment for algae to thrive. And according to the research published in the journal Nature Communications, some areas of the Antarctica are so densely covered in this green algae, with green patches visible from space, biologists from the University of Cambridge and the British Antarctic Survey say more algae will form as the planet warms and potentially create a new ecosystem on Earth's South Pole. The algae could offer more sustenance to other species, which could help to form a new ecosystem, they said. Dr. Andrew Gray, the lead author of the paper and a researcher at the University of Cambridge said, as Antarctica warms, we predict the overall mass of snow algae will increase as the spread to higher ground will significantly outweigh the loss of small island patches of algae. Dr. Matt Davey, again of University of Cambridge Department of Plant Sciences, who led the study said, the algae could capture carbon dioxide, which could be a boost in the battle against climate change. He said this significant advance in our understanding of land-based life in Antarctica and how it might change in the coming years as the climate warms. The snow algae are a key component of the continent's ability to capture carbon dioxide from atmosphere through photosynthesis. He said we identified 1,679 separate blooms of green algae on the snow surface, which together covered an area of almost two square kilometers, equating to a carbon sink of around 479 tons every year. Since 1975, the world's been warming at an alarming rate. Scientists stating that global temperature has risen by roughly 0.15 to 0.20 Celsius per decade. While this figure seems relatively low, global warming is undoubtedly having an effect on the polar ice caps, South and North Pole and they will continue to melt. Since 1979, the volume of ice in Antarctica or North Pole has shrunk by an astonishing 80%, which scientists have warned will cause major sea levels to rise, 80%. If just the West Antarctic ice sheet where the Pine Island Glacier is were to completely melt, the sea levels would rise by three meters. That's about nine to 10 feet globally. That's amazing. This is by Sean Martin on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.